Well. Hi. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, SMTD Drizzy here. Luckily, I'm not playing this game to get this freaking W, because I'm about to get stomped. But, um, as you can see, we playing 2K. So you already know what it is. Um, yeah, the, I mean, I'm not like a straight 2K player. So, like, I do these on, I, I'll do these whenever. But, um, I'm, I saw that they did, they did a, uh, they dropped a gameplay blog. So I wanted to review it. Um, oh, I like his court. But, um, so far at least, I ain't seen the logos. No, don't like his court no more. But, um, is that Galaxy Opal Porzingis? Oh, God. Now, with that being said, oh, go Bonga. Get the foul. Come on. Let's go. All right. So the first article in this, or the first part of the, the blog, is um, the motion upgrade. So if you didn't know, if you didn't know, during when 2K18 had came out, they completely revamped the motion system for 2K. And that's probably the reason why 2K18 didn't do so well, is because they revamped it completely in total. Now, 2K19 also runs under the same motion system, which is also the reason why some people don't like that movement system. Now, they say that they, they say that they um, upgraded it and made movement feel more realistic, which is my, my only problem with this game, is that movement doesn't feel realistic whatsoever. It feels real clunky and other things like that. Like, it doesn't feel like you're actually playing a game. You got better foot planting, momentum modeling, and moment, uh, motion style modeling. So like players, players like um, Westbrook, they have different, basically what, what that is saying is they have different sty uh, sp <clears throat> sprint animations. So like, I just shot through the wrong. Um, so like, Westbrook, John Wall, De'Aaron Fox, will have different sprint animations from Giannis, um, Anthony Davis, and um, players like that. It said that players like LeBron have a wiggle, like a wigglish animation, and then that players like Westbrook, they just go low and get to the basket. Now, they ch they said they did a lot of things with um, idle animations, like like a whole, like, like people... Like they said that there's not really going to be bigs spamming dribble moves anymore because it's going to be easy to get rips in this game, which kind of scares me. If you're a good on-ball defender, you can get rips easy. Now, the next article is Handles and Saws, the article that everyone wants to read about. Now, oh, that's out of bounds. <clears throat> now, uh, now, what they said in the handles and sauce one, I'm not going to read it all because it was the longest one. <clears throat> they added new things like um, pick and roll wraps and splits. Um, they added... I'm sorry that my voice sounds like this, by the way, because I was streaming yesterday and I was kind of being loud and screaming. I think I lost my voice. But... Uh, but, um... They said that they also added dead legs, punches, and hezzy lifts, um, which should be really interesting. Ooh, oh. Now, they also changed it to where you can do a whole bunch of dribble moves with just the stick, and it's one-to-one -one controls. So in order to dribble well this year, you have to combo yourself. Like, you, like they don't have... They don't have where you pound down, 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 and it um, does the double behind the back for you. You have to manually hit behind the back twice to do that move. Now, you, you'll pick six styles from certain NBA players like Kobe Bryant, 
um, Steph Curry, <clears throat> and all them. But instead of picking for like double crossover and double between the legs, you just pick for um, this the whole six style. So if you want to dribble like Curry, you can dribble like Curry. But they also said that you can you can lull your defenders to sleep by doing slow crossovers, and you can also get hard hard double double cross and other things like that, which should be really interesting. Now they did state that um, they are bringing not bringing back um, that they are adding new street ball esque moves. Like um, the, hold on, let me go down. Um, just had to make sure I was recording. Like um, Luca's fake step back. Well, that's not a street ball move, but um, <clears throat> the fake sham hezzy that Will Bynum did this year in the big three. Um, they said that that's gonna be in the game. Which is going to be interesting to watch people do that. Um, I wonder how OP it's going to be. Now, um, I'm kind of intrigued if they'll have that weird little fake behind the back move that Kyrie did in the All-Star game. You know what I mean? I know what I mean. A move that no one knows, like, he never did it again. But, like, I wonder if, I wonder if they have that. I mean, they had it this year. So, yeah, they probably will have it. Now, um... Um, they have, I know that they have, um, James Harden's step backs in the game because it even says it. Ooh, money. Right. But they also, they also stated that it's, it feels cleaner and more responsive to dribble in this game, which is going to be interesting. Because I feel like this game was kind of clear and responsive. Like, I didn't really have any problems. Now... Like I was saying, I just found it. There are 27 different sprint styles that you can use. And you can also use them for my career. Like, you don't just have to use them in... You don't just see them in the thing. You can pick any of those styles for my career. You have DeMar uh, De'Aaron Fox, John Wall, DeMar DeRozan, you know, all them players. You got LeBron and Kobe and Kawhi and all them. Now the thing is, is we don't know if they just took, um, took, like, their sprint styles, like looked at film and had somebody mocap it, or if they made the players mocap it themselves. Which we kind of hope that they made a mocap it themselves, because that would be kind of lit, because it would seem even more real. Now I know I normally show trailers in these videos, but I'm not going to for this one because I have enough to talk about without a trailer. No way I can get it. Okay. The list of styles goes base, po big, power, fundamental, quick, slasher, shifty, James Harden, LeBron James, Magic Johnson, Kobe Bryant, Jerry West, Dennis Johnson, John Wall, no, John Stockton, Allen Iverson, Tim Hardaway, hold on, let me, there's a charge, yeah, Tim Hardaway, Steve Nash, Jason Kidd, Isaiah Thomas, Chris Paul, Damian Lillard, Russell Westbrook, Kyrie Irving, Kemba Walker, Stephen Curry, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Now, <clears throat> that's a pretty impressive group. I just want to know what they look like. Now, they did add a whole bunch of new, or not a whole bunch of new, but they revamped the off ball movement, which should allow players who really can't dribble, like people who, who player builds that. I was passing that out. Player builds that can't dribble should be able to get open off of off-ball movement. And then um, players that sh are struggling or are cold should be able to do that. Now, they also added um, new triple threat moves, like triple threat, um, like jab steps and things like that, which should be intriguing. Like, it should be, I wonder how OP is going to be. Cause you know how in the NBA, whenever Steph does a does one, it's like an instant ankle breaker for him, right? I wonder, I wonder if you can even get ankle breakers on it. I hope you, I, I'm like I really hope you can, but at the same time I don't. You know what I mean? Like I want it, 
to be like that, but at the same time, I don't want it to be like that because I know it's going to be broken if it's like that. Now, I did do I did do all this talking about offense. I think now is a good time to switch over to defense. And as you can see, defense in this game is awful. I hate the defense in this game. But they changed, they changed, like, they said that they, um, they, they call it read and react defense. Now, now how they have it this year, whenever a ball handler is dribbling the ball, lockdown defenders, on ball defenders, will see a little arrow telling them which way the guy, which way the, the guy is leaning to. And successful flicks, like successful pickoffs, like, successful like jump in the arrows um, will lead to fumbles will lead to um, will lead to pickups force pickups like you know how in my career whenever you, you do that you get a force pickup no. um, but it leads to all those things somebody's called me Oh, that's Andrew. Hold on. I'll call him. I'll call him back in a sec. Um. I'm just playing around. Um. <clears throat> now they also have. Um. New block animations for Paint D, like more grab blocks, which scares me. Um, but it says that 1v1s end in more predictable ways. So that means good defenders win. Good defenders win when they should, and bad defenders lose when they should. Um, which... God, dang, he got up. Which kind of intrigues me. I'm interested to see how it's going to play out. Because I don't want... Like, I, I'm kind of curious how... I mean, that, that increases the skill gap. Don't get me wrong. I'm just curious of how, like, the spammers will fit into that scheme. Will they be bad defenders or will they be good defenders? And they said that they, they, said that they will get more fouls if they spam. But that's really, like, the only thing they said about it. They didn't say very much like about spamming because if you don't know people who spam square are the most aggravating people on this planet and it's usually like the people with really good defense so let's get on to the next one because I'm getting dominated I don't even want to play this game anymore I don't. Um, the next one is paint defense. So we can just continue to talk about it. Now they said that... <clears throat> what did they say? They said that attacking and defending the rim has been a focus this year. And then they said that there's, there's dunks and they completely rebranded the layups and dunks. And you can branch any layup gathered to dunk finishes but you can also you can also um, branch them into floaters which should be interesting because I want to know how slow it's going to be because y'all know I like making slashers I want to know how slow it's going to be because if it's slow it doesn't make any sense to even try to do it same with um, like the dunk gathers they were really slow so you kept getting I kept getting blocked I wonder if they revamped it like that, made them faster. Which should, which would be great. It would be amazing if they did that. Ooh. Now, like I already stated, what they did with off ball there, and I already stated that there was more block animations. Now, so I think I'm pretty much done, except for there's one more piece that I wanted to talk about. Um, they have the next step in AI. 2K always makes their AI better every year. They swear they do, but really their AI just gets worse. In my opinion, like, I don't know. 
But they did they did add in new adjustments. Um they added in like you know how Utah played Harden? They added in that ball adjustment, which is I mean, it didn't work, so I wouldn't run that. But they did act, uh, add Toronto's top lock uh bleh, lock up scheme on Curry, right? So that'll be interesting how that'll work. Because that should be kind of broken because Curry didn't do nothing. I mean, Curry doesn't do anything in the playoffs, but, like, but like he did extra nothing. But it should be, it should be really interesting. I, I'm starting to get more hype for the game. Like, slowly but surely getting more hype for the game. He just blocked me without jumping. That's just mean. Dude, this has a good card in the game, and it's ridiculous. And he's not a bad player either. Like, he's not a bad player. He's just... Every good card in the game is ridiculous. Now, TakeOver is coming back, but they said that they revamped it, which I hope that they just nerfed Sharpshooter TakeOver and um post score takeover but they said that they they what they said they did is is they um made it more even but between archetypes so it makes that makes me think that they either nerfed those two or they buffed everyone else's which in my opinion <clears throat> i feel like it should take a lot longer than five shots to get takeover i understand park games taking five shots but my career games it, it literally takes about five shots, like five dunks, five uh, spin shots. It's about five shots. I mean, unless you're playing on, like, shorter quarters, five shots is not hard to do. I mean, five shots, period, is not hard to do, right? Um, they're adding in 80 badges back, which makes me think back to, like, 2K16 badges. And they, they even quoted on saying the volume shooter is back, you know, the, the the badge that no one ever really wanted because, like, it showed that you were bad at shooting. You shot a bad field goal percentage or you just shot a lot, right? They are adding in neighborhood badges, <clears throat> which will be interesting. Which the reason why they're adding in so many badges is because they want to be able, they want. Ba they said basketball is the focus this year. They want you to be able to play as Russell Westbrook with your my player. Which I want to know how I'm going to be able to play with play as Russell Westbrook because I'm a, I I love playing like a slasher so that intrigues me highly. Um, but they said that. You should be able to make any play style imaginable, which really intrigues me. Um, uh, yeah. So, like, I'm kind of interested now. But um, with that, I mean, I mean, I don't really know what to expect. Like, they they're dropping news so late in the year that I just don't know. Like, usually by now, we'd at least have something more, but we don't. And I'm getting utterly dominated, so I'm going to end this video here. Um, this is what happens when you go up against a full god squad. Not like I was trying to win, but it's, the, it's fine. It's good. It's good. Yeah, feel me? Um, with that being said, I'm out. Peace out.